Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a quick little word. God knows to send the right type of help and provisions and blessings to you. When he sends them, he has to make sure that he vets them and they fit a certain criteria so then he can place them in your path. I'm going to use the example that I did yesterday. I was at a volunteering event and I was part of a members only tent. So within that members only tent, there was directions that we had to follow as a volunteer group. We had to make sure that anyone that came to that tent had to show us ID, let us know what membership they were part of, and if they had someone with them, those individuals had a wristband that they were gonna get. Certain levels required certain gifts and perks that they would get. And then when they came in the tent, they also got food, drinks, and a goodie bag and um, discounts for other areas within the festival. Okay, as we had to do that at that vendor event and do checks and balances to make sure everybody was right where they needed to be at. With you, when God is hearing that you need help, the provisions, the blessings, the situations you're in, he needs to make sure in order to send you that help, I have to make sure I'm sending the right type of help. So when you don't think that you're hearing anything or seeing anything, it's like, where's my help at? I need my help. Where's this person at? I need to meet this deadline. Um, I want to make sure my children are good. I want to sure, make sure I meet this bill. I want to make sure um, I pay this loan off. Whatever your situation is, God is making sure that he vets the help before it comes. He's setting the right criteria. Sorry, guys, I had to restart my phone. So as God is setting up the right criteria of help to send you, do not lose faith. Do not lose hope. Do not think that God has forgotten that you have asked and requested some type of help within a blessing, a provision, a idea, whatever you're doing. He did not forget it. In order for him to send it, he's got to send the right type of help. He's not a God that he's going to give you microwave results because you're just begging for it and asking for it. He needs to make sure that you're set up correctly so that when he gives you that blessing and he gives you the right individuals that are going to help you move to the next level, that you can then share that testimony. You can then gain a relationship with that individual person or company, and then that can move you to the next level, then that can move move you to the next level it's not a quick process and in the midst of waiting for that help to come you must be able to stay faithful you must be able to maintain that hope maintain that hope stay in your word continue to practice what you're doing within that one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with god because he's sending it at the right time Make sure you're balancing your free will. Make sure that you're not trying to take a step ahead of him. So then you have to, okay, now I got to go back a step, even though I know God is planning something else for me. Try not to get ahead of him because when we get ahead of God, that's when we get into our, we make a bigger situation than we need to. Just be mindful of that. If you want to go ahead, just know I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, recycle it, whatever you want to say. And it's not, it does, it never works in the favor. At least for me, it doesn't. I end up having to repeat what I did trying to go ahead of God. So as you're looking for God to send that help and send that provision, he's going to send it, but he must make sure it's the right type of help for you. Your, your, need, your situation is unique. It's different. It's not like the next person, the neighbor, the person across the street, the person that you met at the store. It's not like that. You may have you may be relating to what that pain is or that situation or the help they're asking for, but the situations and the levels of what it takes and those blessings to get to that person is going to be different. He speaks to you and he blesses you the way he wants to because your line to him is different than my line to him. So as God is going to bless you, he's venting that help. He's making sure, I got to make sure this is the right help. I got to make sure this is the right blessing. I'm sending divine mercy angels around my child to make sure that they understand that I'm going to bless them, not just for this moment, but for a lifetime, for generations. Whatever you have been petitioning, he's sending the right type of help. He's doing a checklist of it, okay? It's just like being in that members only or VIP tent. He knows exactly who can come around you when you're underneath that tent. It can't just be any old body. It can't just be, oh, somebody who's snuck in there or it can't just be some counterfeit person. No, he's not having that. It's gotta be the right individuals. And he wants to make sure your discernment is on. So when these times of silence, when you don't hear it, 
Oh, he's sending the help. You just have to make sure you're staying strong in your faith. You have that hope, that discernment on, and know that God is God and he will provide for you. Okay, guys, um, this video was broken up into two because I had to restart my phone. So hopefully um, I'm going to be able to put them both together. I think I have um, that app on my phone when I can merge them together. So let me know if um, you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing weekend. Hope you guys are being safe. Um, welcome to my new subscribers. If you are not new, welcome back um, to Heavenly Vibes where we met your Heavenly Father. I'm so grateful and thankful for all my new subscribers and thank you so much for you guys um, sending donations to the channel. Um, it's very encouraging and I'm so thankful and I, I pray that God blesses you abundantly in every area that you can see his blessings come to you and those that are connected to you. So into the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.